I just found a pattern on fuel cells stock chart that may suggest where the stock is heading next. Let's jump in. What's up everyone, I'm Brad. Welcome to the Money Dad channel. In this video, we are talking about fuel cell. There is a pattern on that chart that I wanna talk about because it may indicate where the stock is heading next based on stock chart pattern analysis. And that's what we do on this channel. We look at, we look at stock chart patterns and we project price targets based off of those patterns. And we've been pretty successful in the past with this. We uh, correctly predicted Tesla, Bitcoin, a few others. So I do uh, stock price prediction videos. So if you are interested in that kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber yet. Okay, let's jump into this fuel cell energy chart. Okay, so I got fuel cell pulled up in trading view. Again, the ticker is FCEL. Uh, you can see that it was kind of just in that one to two dollar range for all of 2020 until about a month ago. It just shot through the roof. So we are going to be looking at this um action right here primarily but i want to just show you guys this stuff real quick because it's important to confirm our pattern here we're going to be looking at what looks like a bull pennant forming here you got your flag pole here and you got your pennant flag right there but in order for us to project a price target from that we have to confirm that this is a bull trend a bull pennant is only valid if it is continuing a bull trend. So you can see it's pretty flat here, but if we just go ahead and throw a line down here and look at the bottoms, you go from this bottom all the way back here, almost touch it here, and then we touch here. This line is ever so slightly trending up, right? It starts at well, you can see right here, it starts at negative 10 cents. So that's not actually real. But all the way back here in 2019, this stock was trading in the 30 cent range. It was almost dead. Um, and we have just been trickling up. We've had some big booms. I mean, 30 cents all the way up to almost $3 right here. Um, that's a 10 bagger, 1,000% on your money. And it's been bouncing pretty heavily. It doesn't look like these are big bounces, but that's because this is skewed from how big of a run-up this is, right? If we get rid of this run-up over here and we zoom in on this action, this stuff actually ends up looking a lot bigger. But we're not paying attention to that stuff for this video. I just wanted to show you that we are indeed in a bull trend and now we can take a closer look at this action on the right. Okay, so now that we are zoomed in a little bit closer on this, it is clear that we have a bull pennant flag right not a bull flag a bull pennant so we make our flag pole like that we make our resistance let's go ahead and throw our resistance in there the top of the bull pennant and then we're going to go ahead and throw the bottom of the bull pennant in there for our support that's pretty ugly so why don't we clean it up a little bit just make it nice and pretty Okay, that's pretty close. Uh, enough to show you guys what we're talking about here. So we have a bull pennant. That is a stock chart pattern um, with a probability of reaching our price target after it breaks out of slightly more often than not. Um, this one is not, I, I don't show any chart, chart patterns that are less than 50% odds because, I mean, if it's less than 50%, then it's not worth uh it's not worth trading on, right? I mean, that's a losing trade. So, but this one is about 55%. So it's not a huge winner. Bull pennants are not huge winners. So you want to take smaller positions on these unless you just truly believe in the company. And then, hey, maybe you want to take a bigger position because you're long uh, on the company for the long term anyway. But uh, bull pennants in general have about a 55% uh, success rate of hitting the price target um, once they have confirmed a breakout from the bull pennant and if it is a true bull pennant. So 55% success rate means 45% of the time it doesn't work out. It's a little bit more than a coin flip, but um, you know, 55 to 45, that's a 10% difference. That's enough to where if you do it uh, enough, you're going to make money on it. Um, pretty good money on it in the long run, you know. So um, 
I'll probably take a small position on this one because even though it's 55% chance of hitting the price target, the price target on this one is massive. Let me show you. Um, to make our price target, we take the size of the flagpole and we start it at the bottom of where this breakout is going to be. So if we assume this is the breakout, right, because it's going to curl up in this uh, pennant, it's going to curl up all the way to the tip and then break out ideally. It won't definitely happen, but ideally that's how this is going to play out. We're going to break out maybe starting as early as tomorrow. Um, actually tomorrow Saturday so the next trading day or maybe two or three trading days from now hopefully we'll see a breakout to the upside and then we are going to take off and this is our projection so I'm gonna start it right about there and look at where we are projecting from let, let me just start by saying we are currently trading at seven dollars and sixty eight cents and this projection has us going to sixteen dollars and forty four cents that is more than a hundred percent upside you are talking about doubling your money. There's about a 55% chance of this happening. So it's, you know, this isn't guaranteed you're gonna double your money on this chart pattern analysis just does not work like that. It's nothing is guaranteed, nothing is 100%. This one is about 55%. Um, so because the potential is so high on this one, the reliability, the probability of it happening, of it happening is a little bit lower than a regular stock chart pattern, right? This 55% but the potential return is 100%, that's massive. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about this is just a couple more confirmations. Right here, down here, you can see the volume candles were absolutely gigantic uh, for the flagpole, which is a good sign. You, so we saw this huge flagpole created on huge volume, very good sign there. And then look at this uh, RSI indicator. We are very oversold on this stock, which means we should start to see some buying activity on this stock. And what happens when we see buying activity? Stocks go up. So this indicates a, it's basically a buy signal. This RSI being this oversold is a buy signal. Uh, so coming out of this flag, we're going to be buying. The price is going to be going up and it's going to it's going to shoot up to our price target. Well, there's a 55% chance of it hitting our price target, right? But that price target is absolutely massive. So, uh it's worth I in my opinion as a not a financial advisor, um it you know, I'll, I'm going to take a, a position in this. So, but again, you know, you want to wait for confirmation. You want to wait for that breakout uh over that resistance, maybe one or two candles over that resistance, and then that is your confirmation to get in and uh, wait for that, wait to hit that price target. So I will probably wait until about $16 and get out. I'm not gonna wait all the way until 1644. I just like to get out early and lock in some of my gains. So uh, once we break out, it looks like we might need to hit the $8.15 $8 range. Um, we'll see you know we'll have to we'll have to wait for a couple more candlesticks um see where see where this chart goes uh but if we get a candlestick or two to close above that top of the bull pennant resistance that's a good sign and i think we're going to be off the races at that point so that's all i got for fuel cell i hope you guys enjoyed it uh if you thought this was entertaining please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber yet. I do stock chart pattern analysis videos. I also have a Robinhood portfolio that I like to update uh, about once a week on the channel. So um, come along for the ride because we're having a lot of fun with this stuff. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one.